Dear colleagues, I would like to represent Pirogov Interactive Anatomy Table and we prepare this video for our clients and partners. Our table is consists from the physical table and the cable. Uh, I mean that this ordinary cable is connected between power connection. Our table has three USB connector on the bottom of the table and one IHDMI connector to connect it with a vertical screen and multimedia equipment. And after that, I can show you how can you use our product at your education. Right now, I can show you how can you start the work with our Atlas. You can see home page in the icon of Atlas. You can activate it. Right now, our Atlas is downloaded on uh, the way. Uh, and you see two icons. Topography, it means topographical anatomy, and human anatomy, it, mean, it means normal anatomy. And this is the start page of our atlas, and on the bottom of the screen you can see blue icons. On the right side of the screen you can see grey icons. Uh, what does it mean? This color it means that blue icon is active, grey icon is unactive. And uh, I can zoom in, in or zoom in out. And our atlas is consists from 5,000 objects. Each of them has their name and table and description in English and Russian language and official term name in Latin. If I would like to move the model, I can do it with two fingers. If I would like to rotate the model, I can do it like this. And please, uh, I would like to pay your attention that they have f uh, both version of anatomy. I mean, woman's anatomy, right now it's download in topographical anatomy and normal anatomy. It's absolutely the same way to activate. And on the right side of menu, of, you can see setting menu. You can choose topographical anatomy or human anatomy, man's body or human's body. And after that, I will show you the part of topographical anatomy. Right now, you can see the initial picture of topographical anatomy. And on the bottom of the screen, you can see blue icons with the layers of body. How it works? If you would like to switch off of them, you can do it like this. If you would like to switch on all of them, you can do it like this. If you would like to uh, turn off step by step, you can do it. Blue color, it means active icons. Gray color, it means non-active icons. And in topographical anatomy, we have four modes to work on this. View mode, it looks like this. Compare, diagnostics, and testings. On the right part of the screen, you can see a menu, context menu, and each object has these tools. Right now, I turn off layers, turn on organs, Zooming in or zooming out, rotate with one finger and move it on the screen. Each object has their name in English and Latin and Russian language. And right now I can show you how can you do it with the some tools. If you would like to fix it, you can see, you can tell it to return to a previous step. You can hide it if you would like to show something for a student. You can point out and work on this. And uh, you can show the connection between nervous innervation and uh, lymph. That's the way. If you would like to show the segments of organ and compare, you can do it. I try to return for the initial step. I am turn off all icons. I am turn on organs. I can show that it's easy to do it. I fix the menu and I would like to show you a segments. 
you can see that this is the segment of organ with the comments and you can show the students each part of organ if you would like and on this way you can compare the normal organ and pathology organ uh, it's download is the typical pathology data at our atlas and you can show to students this difference between normal and pathology organ all of them has a description to compare it and apart from this there has histology data with a good zoom out possibilities right now we are return on the initial step and um, we have the diagnostics mode if you would like to show in what way diagnostics works, you can do it from this part of our atlas. We have uh, ultrasound diagnostics data. And we can see the sensor and the picture of diagnostics. And if you would like, and it's compare between the uh, part of body and diagnostics picture. You can see the sensor. And if you would like, you can show the students in which exactly way it should be put, I mean, the sensor, and to, to have this diagnostic data. We have computer tomography, some data, and we have MRI. Right now I can show you on MRI. You can see marker red line, and it's correlate between the picture of diagnostics and the real body. I try to make it like this. I turn off all icons, I turn on nerves. I'm zooming in, I move it. Rotate and move. And if I would like, I can zoom in out the diagnostics picture as well. And I can show you how can it works with the tools. I can delete it one by one, step by step. And it means that I can show to students the internal structure, how it compares with diagnostic data. It's more clearly, it's really good way to compare it. And if you would like to pay attention of students for some small details, you can paint it. That is works. On the right side of the screen, you can see a menu and you can choose testing testing mode of our atlas. Right now I put a password and uh, login for this. You see this is a system of testing and this is in Russian and in English some of them and uh, you can use that test which install there or something which you create. You can use uh, the different type of tests with one correct answer with the correct uh, order to answer with uh, other possibilities and uh, with uh, to fill and to find some part of body and this is the correct and the system has the automatically results in each test and you can create your own tests that's about testing of knowledge well, right now we are in the part of our atlas, human anatomy. And you remember that we have human uh, man's body and woman's body. I would like to remind you. And we return to man's body. On the bottom of the screen, you can see blue icons, but it's the different way. Right now it's a systems of a body. If you would like, the, the legend is the same. Blue color, it means active icon. Gray color, it means non-active. If I would like to turn on, turn off, turn on. If I would like it, do it step by step, it works like this. We have some uh, menu into this part and you can see that's it's some part. Zooming in or zooming out to move the model 
and to rotate. And on the right side of our screen, you can see the tools. It's the same like uh, you can see in previous video. You can do something if you would like. You can hide. You can make comments. And you can return for the first initial step. If you would like and prefer, you can work with body part. It looks like this. Zooming in. And we can work system by system. We can turn off some of them and focus of each part. And well, you see that the description of that organs and objects on the right side of our screen. Apart from this, uh, you can use uh, this uh, type of atlas. This is scenes. Uh, it's more than 15 scenes at our library. Uh, these are organized and managed by systems. I mean systems of a body. This part is oriented over the region anatomy, I mean a part of body. This is organ of the sense. You can see, you can use it with the useful tools. And you can create your own scene if you would like to prepare, for example, for each lecture or another groups with some commands or delete commands. And you can continue the work of this scene you can download on your laptop and continue this uh, preparation at home. It's very useful if you would like to create the connection between you and your students. And the final step, how can you use uh, our atlas uh, with some additional instruments, if you, uh, tools? If you would like to do it, uh, please be attentive for the top of the screen. If you create some scene, you can fix it of these tools. It means that right now it's just no one chance to do it. It's fixed. If you would like to continue to work of this, you put it this button. If you would like to uh, minimize, you shoot it like this. And our icon is active on the bottom of the screen. You can return. And if you would like to close when you finish the work, you can do it like this, it's as usual. In the same way to do it from the computer. Dear colleagues, at this video I try to show you the basic function of our Piragov Interactive Anatomy Table. If you have any question or you would like to contact us, our contact is on the screen. Welcome.